everyone, today's video is just a big time throwback to my earliest types of videos where I used to just sit down and show you the stuff that I'd accumulated over the last time since I'd done a video like that. So this is just a good old fashioned YouTube classic haul. There's no theme, there's no sponsor, there is no one category. All the random stuff that I have either purchased myself or was sent to me in PR and I'll let you know which of those things each of them are is I'm gonna start with the beauty products because I feel like there's the most interest in that and if you don't want to see the rest you can click out but before we go any further I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving about 95% of my viewers are American so I am wishing those of you who are American a happy belated Thanksgiving also want to thank everyone who gave me video topic suggestions for today's video I decided to go with a haul because I wanted to put all this stuff away before we started celebrating the holidays and I figured this was a really good way to motivate me to do that. I have noted the requests. The, probably the biggest request was a day in the life kind of vlog that actually takes a little bit of planning. There's no such thing as a spontaneous day in the life. Those of us that create content try to pick a day where there's something actually happening. It's not like I make stuff up to film, but most days it's just me kind of like hanging around the house, sitting in front of a computer, and that would make for a very, very boring video. So in no particular order, uh, Sephora had their holiday beauty VIB sale thing, and I did purchase a few things. The biggest purchase, I finally bit the bullet, and after getting your input, I got the Natasha Denona Biba palette. The most expensive palette I have ever purchased, and I have to say, it is incredible. I've been wearing it every single day since I got it, and pretty much the same four colors. So, uh, I don't know about if it's possible to buy these shades as singles, I may have to at some point, but I have been pretty much using Tusk as my transition shade, Freckle in the crease, and either doing shine all over the lid with a little bit of Monroe in the inner corner or just Monroe all over the lid and then maybe a little bit of rustic or rayon in the outer corner. But so far, definitely, I think worth it, even though it was outrageously expensive. I also picked up the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. I guessed on the shade and I think I nailed it. It's Y215 and it's not much to look at. It does come with this flat puff. One side is like a velvety side. Actually, this is the more velvety side. And then it has this other, feels almost like a latex scuba type feel. And um, this side, I guess, gives you more coverage and then the white side gives you less coverage. Actually, it could be the other way around. I don't remember, but I absolutely love it. I do use the pad a little bit for touch up, but I've been using this just as my final setting of, of my foundation and concealer before moving on to the rest of my face and this stuff makes my skin look flawless. I also picked up the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow, this little size, smaller than what I anticipated. I mean, it's tiny. I don't mind that the highlighting side is tiny because the brush I use for highlighting is a smaller brush, but the bronze side, I have to be very strategic and kind of go around and dip my brush very carefully in it because it's basically the size of both pans put together. I am wearing the bronzer today. It is a most beautiful, smooth, natural toned bronzer. I love it. I have not gone back to see if I can get it in the larger size. I'm sure that I can, um, and I probably will. But I wanna try to use this one up first. The highlighter is lovely as well, but um, it is a little, as you can see, it's, it's too deep for me really. So I don't really use it as much, but it was worth the lower price to pick this up and get to play with it and now I know I wanna definitely buy the larger size. Also, I believe it was early on in November, maybe late October, I can't remember. Tarte was having a big sale where you could get, I think seven full-size items for a very much reduced price, maybe $64 with shipping and tax, I think it was. And maybe it was seven, maybe it was five. Regardless, let me show you what I picked out. First of all, you got to pick a makeup bag and there are various sizes and shapes, but I went with this one. I felt like it was the most useful. Of course, I already got it dirty. It's that kind of scuba neoprene fabric, so it's gonna show every fingerprint, but it's just really big, really versatile, and a great travel bag for makeup or whatever. And I also like that you can make it a little bit smaller by fastening these snaps on each side. So anyway, that was worth it. But the things that I picked out, I think this was everything. I decided to go with, let's start with the Primer. I tried the Tarte Hydrating Primer and honestly have just tried it for the first time today. It's the Base Tape Hydrating Primer. Haven't 
I'm not actually wearing the Tarte foundation with it. It's fine. I mean, the foundation, I'm wearing a face atelier foundation and that goes with everything. I think it's a little too deep for me actually. It's more my summer shade, but I love this foundation. Spoiler alert, it will be in uh, Tuesday's video. But I think it's gonna work really well under the Tarte Face Tape Foundation that I picked out. I have it in the shade 16N Fair Light Neutral. I do like this. It is a serious full coverage foundation. So this is for me not every day, but I do like it and I, I haven't worn them together yet. I wanted to see how each one did separately to see if I had any kind of reaction. Um, since this is the first day I'm wearing the primer, I'm gonna hold off and see if anything literally pops up on my face before I wear them together. I also picked up this highlighter from Tarte. It's the Tarte highlighter in the shade Exposed. It's part of their Amazonian Clay collection. I specifically got this based on Kathleen Jennings Beauty's recommendation. Oh, this is beautiful. It's the most beautiful champagne toned, perfect. So you can barely see it. There it is, that little gleam because it blended into my skin so nicely, unlike the Natasha Denona one. So I am loving this. That this, I think basically this and one more item was the price of everything that I picked up in this. I also got a backup of one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Sugar Rush Lash Smoothie. Sugar Rush is a subsidiary or a, a sister brand to Tarte. And um, this Lash Smoothie Mascara is absolutely fabulous. So I have a backup. And I also picked up this lipstick. Not loving the lipstick. It's a cardboard tube, which I'm being really picky, but I feel like... I know they're kind of try, probably thinking they're being eco-friendly or something, but like it's it's paper. So how is that? Maybe it's made out of like hemp or something. I don't know. But the shade I picked is called Pink Tutu. It was not actually the shade that I wanted, but by the time I signed on to purchase everything, they were sold out of all the lipsticks I wanted. It's a brighter rose shade and it's just brighter than like what I would traditionally wear, but I think it'll be great for the holidays if I'm dressing up. I can reach for this and ooh, it has a minty scent to it. And then I also picked up this. This was all part of the like $60 deal. It was amazing. This is the Amazonian Clay eyeshadow palette called the Power Bar. And it's just a whole bunch of warm neutrals there. You can see I've dipped into those shimmer shades quite a bit. It's definitely a little bit warmer, reminiscent to me of the uh, Too Faced Born to Run, like that shade range, but it's a great little palette. I don't need this anymore. Really enjoying this as well. Sticking with Tarte, I did place a random order at Ulta at some point. I haven't even shared any of this on camera. Um, so staying with Tarte, I bought the Sweet Tarte Double Shot Palette. I was thinking when I bought this that it might be a great palette to recommend for people to just have and give as a gift, but I am not all that impressed with it. I need to use it more. The brush, the brush, the mirror is nice. It is part of that Sugar Rush brand, and I had thought... Look at all of these beautiful neutrals, that this was gonna be a great neutral palette. The formula is really dry. This, this shade right here, the one that I would use all over my lid, is gritty, pretty shade, but it's super dry, very gritty. When you pack it on, it's okay, but initially touching it, I'm not impressed with the formula. It stays on fine. I just feel like there are definitely better options out there, even better dr drugstore options, so don't, think I would recommend this one. I also picked up this little guy, Allie Glines, raves about this all the time. It's the ColourPop palette. Is it Allie Glines or is it um, Andrea or Andrea Madalano? Somebody's been raving about this. It's from ColourPop and it is the Citrus Fizz Quad. Look at how cute that is. Love this. Obviously a very warm toned palette. It's very, very pretty. And um, not the creamiest formula, not as dry as that Sugar Rush Tarte one, but this is ColourPop. It's like, I can't even remember. It was like $5. I mean, it's ridiculously affordable. And there are quite a few other quads in this line. So if this one doesn't have the exact tones that you want for a full look, you could probably mix and match with a few and stack these up. And then going with the tone on tone idea, I also picked up this one from Essence. It's the Dancing Green eyeshadow palette. I don't know what I was thinking, but I actually really like this one. See that khaki kind of brown olive green? Very, very wearable. And then the lightest shimmer shades, once you put them across your lid, are really, really wearable as well. 
So that middle shade, you can barely see it. So you're gonna have to pack it on or maybe pack it over uh, maybe an eyeliner of similar shade. But again, it's Essence, so the cost of this is very, very low. Again, probably $5 or less. So um, I feel like it's worth it really, even just for these two shades and then um, this really shimmery one over here. So I think it's definitely worth it. I would recommend this line. So that's it for the makeup stuff. Then I got some PR gifts from Kendra Scott. I am a Kendra Scott ambassador, which means I actually get about two or three pieces of new Kendra Scott items every time they release a new collection. And I'm wearing some that I believe do not become available till December 1st, but you can get them on your radar and when it goes live on the site, you'll be ready to grab them. They have these bow earrings in time for the holidays that are really cute and Wrigley is saying hello. I really like these Haven hoops. They are gold hoops with different color enamel, tiny little hearts all along the edge. They are adorable. And I believe that they do have other options as far as what color the hearts are. They may be just all one color, but I liked the multicolor. And then these are part of the Abbey collection. These are Abbey drop earrings with sort of a lapis stone in the middle. And again, these are not available just yet, any day now. And then a few pieces that are available. This first one is absolutely stunning. To me, this looks like fine jewelry, but it is not. Look at this bracelet. It also comes in silver, and I'm not sure if you can pick it up in the light, but it's mostly gold links with a couple of pops of crystal along the edge. To me, it's very reminiscent of some 90s jewelry I used to have. It's absolutely stunning. I like that it lays just completely flat on the wrist. I also picked these earrings up. Wrigley is sitting on the bridge just outside my back door and he's barking at anything that goes by our street. Anyway, I got these statement earrings. These I believe have been on the site for a while. They also come in gunmetal and then they did release um, the same earring but with crystals all over it for the holidays. I love these and I can tell you they're very lightweight as well. Just for reference, that's where they come to on me. And then I also got these. These are part of their Davis collection. I have two of the necklaces that actually have the same stone, but they just released them in some new colors. So this is that iridescent chromatic, I think they call it glass. Just a really nice dangle earring. You can wear it every day, but I think that little sparkle is good and is nice enough to wear for a more dressy event as well. I also got these earrings from Chico's and they're just very basic. If you like studs and you don't wanna wear anything big for a dressy event, I think these would be perfect. They're kind of square shaped with like a row of crystals across the middle. Very understated, but I think very elegant. So I have these and I'll show you some more stuff that I got from Chico's in a little bit. I also got some great items from Erin Condren. One of the items that I'm really enjoying, they're like these glass block desk decor pieces and you know, it's see-through acrylic here and that has this beautiful piece of art. I cannot remember the name of the artist. It's part of a collection that was released, but it's Edo, Edda V. And she made some of the most beautiful artwork for this collection and this is one of the pieces that she made and they put it in an acrylic block. And I just wanted to share with you because I think it's stunning. It is living on the dresser in my bedroom, but I wanted to share it with you. I think it'd make a really nice gift. And I think, think, think that the Erin Condren 30% off sale is still going on today if you wanted to grab this for a gift for someone. It's so pretty. That was also PR, by the way. I am also an Erin Condren ambassador, so I do get some things sent to me from time to time, which is very, very nice. Then this is very specific to people who are into video content creation, uh, vlogging, podcasting. If you're looking for gifts for someone who's into that or wanting to get into that, Rode contacted me. Rode are known for their audio equipment. I have quite a few Rode microphones in my collection and they asked if they could send me some pieces from their collection. And as a content creator, when a company like that offers to send you something, you do not hesitate. You say yes. So they sent me three things. One of them, I think, yeah, I threw away the box. It's a vlogger kit and it's either iPhone specific or you can pick it for other like Android, that kind of thing. But it comes with this tripod that you can have it closed like this. So you know you can hold, you put your phone in here and you can use it to 
either film yourself or you know face the other way and then when you can twist this thing on the bottom and then it becomes an actual tripod for filming on the go which is very handy it has this light cube attached to it i might blind you let's see look at that and it has three different levels of light sorry maybe i should whoa it's very bright okay this is good lighting i should maybe just set it up right here anyway um so pretty cool for shooting it also comes with a little box of filters to put on the light to diffuse the light to change the color which i think is really cute and this is so cool i can't wait to try this when i vlog next it has a microphone that plugs into the base of your phone and really just takes the audio on an iPhone up to another level. I love filming with my iPhone. This is the new 13, but the sound quality is nowhere near as good as when I film with a camera. So hopefully this will make it a little bit better. And then the other thing they sent me, this is so cool, is wireless mics. These two little squares are actually like a lavalier type microphone. And this is the bigger square plugs into the actual DSLR camera. So I can clip one of these things to me and be wireless and mic so I can walk around. I don't have to be right in front of the camera. You can still hear me. So I may try doing this during my try on so I can just talk to you while I am trying on the clothing and then I don't have to do B-roll with me talking over it. I think this is gonna really take my try on videos to another level and they include two. So you can have actually two people talking in a video. So there you go. And then the last thing is actually a podcaster microphone, which I may try using during my Amazon live streams. We shall see. So I thought that was a pretty cool. That was all sent to me. Also, so excited about this. You've heard me talk about my friend Natasha, Nashville Tash on Instagram. She also has a blog called Hello Happiness and she collabs a lot with a brand called Social Threads. I've talked about pieces from there from before. And they're on the third launch of her neoprene bag that she designed for them. And she sent me this and it is beautiful and it is a perfect everyday tote. It is great for travel. I have it snapped shut, but you can make it bigger. This is definitely coming with me. We just booked a cruise for January. Definitely bringing this with. It also comes with a big zip up little bag to put inside it. So really excited for her and so proud of her that it is doing so amazingly well. We're gonna continue with the random haul. So Shane is home for the week and he is a big time tea drinker. We are not and he was horrified when I told him we didn't have a teapot. When we wanna make tea, we just take hot water from the Keurig. Apparently if you're a tea drinker, that is a terrible thing. So I did just order something from Amazon and I think it's adorable. It's a, it's a teapot obviously, but I love the white enamel and this technically is covered in some sort of rubberized material. It does still get a little bit warm. So they did uh, include this in the package as one of those little silicone things. So I like this, it works just fine. I will say it does, mine doesn't really whistle very, like the shrieking whistle that I'm used to from my childhood. It does come in other colors. I like it. I think it's pretty enough to leave out, which is exactly what I am going to do. Then I have a few pieces of clothing that I either purchased or were sent to me in PR that I wanted to share. And I will just insert pictures of me wearing them. First, I ordered this like two months ago and it finally came in. This is a shacket. I know it's not for everyone, but I love how soft this one is. This is from Amazon and it finally came and I just want to share with you because it fits, runs a little bit longer than other shackets I've purchased. It doesn't have the side pocket, so it's really more of a shirt than a jacket. Um, I like it worn with the sleeves rolled up and I have been wearing it over more loungewear type, just hanging out at home type thing. So I'm enjoying this. Glad it finally came in. I picked up this for the holidays, planning on just wearing it with like a pair of jeans or something. It's a slightly dressier blouse. There were quite a few colors. It looks like it's silk, it is not. It is from Amazon and it's just a basic button down. Very affordable and I love the sheen to this. It comes in a ton of colors. You'll probably see it again in next month's Amazon haul, properly worn. And then I mentioned that I'm an ambassador of a few things. So Erin Condren, Kendra, Kendra Scott, also Chico's. And I'm waiting on one more piece to come in before I uh, shoot this whole look, but I wanted to share what I have so far. Look at these jeans. Are these fabulous? They're kind of like a 
alligator crocodile very faint print obviously these are metallic they're so cool they're i just i love them and they are perfect for the holidays especially if you're going to a party at somebody's house and you want to dress it up a little bit but you want to you don't want to get like dressed up and i'm pairing it with this beautiful look at this red like beautiful gorgeous nothing basic about this top it's very blousey but oh i just love it um Here's what the cuffs look like. I have ordered a blazer cardigan to go with it, but that has not arrived yet. I'm thinking it's gonna arrive tomorrow. And then lastly, I just wanted to mention a couple of things that Soma sent me. Hands down, the most comfortable joggers I've ever worn. These are brushed terry joggers. They come in a lot of solids, and then they also have a couple prints like this camo. I wanna wear this every single day. This is a little bit, um, heavier than my Amazon ones. So my Amazon ones, I feel like I could actually wear them year round, but this one is definitely for the cooler times of year. It's in the wash because I already got it dirty, but I'll, in the picture, the brushed Terry zip up hoodie that goes with it, you buy it separately. Oh my gosh. I've never been a hoodie person, but I absolutely, I'm so, it's that brushed Terry. It is so, 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 so soft. If you're familiar with their Sunday pants, it's that level of softness, but a thicker material. And then I just wanted to share this fun thing that I got since I am now a Tesla owner. <laughs> we got this, we, I got this t-shirt and at first glance it says like sexy, but it's for the Model S, the Model 3, the Model X, and the Model Y. And a Westy hair is on it. So we'll just leave it there. Anyway, I just thought it was funny and fun. And so I got it. I ordered it, um, I believe through the app. Hey, it's kind of not editing me. It's me having just put everything away, packed up all the camera stuff and realized I got three new sweaters that I shared over on stories. Forgot to share them here. So I'm going to include that footage here and then we'll get back to the regular filmed video. So I have three things that just came in the mail. And this first one, I believe it is the Cara sweater. It comes in a few other colors. I'm wearing it in a size small. I love this exaggerated ruffle it's really fun perfect color for thanksgiving christmas time let's see if you can see the back this ruffle actually goes all, all the way around on the back too it's carried through i did a little front tuck here but just to show you how long it is it will look great with a skirt as well this next one is called the norma and it is such a fun sweater and there's also a dog right there that's Mimi. This sweater is perfect for those of us, especially in Texas or in the South where the winters aren't terribly cold. This is slightly open weave. If I get you in really close, you can kind of see, but it's not actually see-through. I'm wearing a bright white bra and it's still, you can't see it. I love the pom-pom detail and it only is on the front. It goes a little bit to the edge of the arm there, but it doesn't carry all the way around. So it's not gonna be uncomfortable. Runs true to size. I am wearing it in a size small and I just, I love it. It's a really fun top and it is perfect for the more transitional weather. This last one is definitely my favorite. First of all, I love the slightly unique shape. It's called the Jackie. It's so reminiscent of that 60s swing boxy shape with this kind of structured mock neck, except the material is really unique. It's extremely soft and it's a fine gauge knit. I think it would be more flattering on me personally if I did a little front tuck. And while I love wearing it with jeans, this is my go-to uniform. I think this would look especially great with a nice pair of black pants. Great for the holidays. This comes in a bunch of other colors, but I think really great for a work environment. I love the bracelet length sleeves. I just love everything about this. It feels incredibly soft. So that is my completely random YouTube haul. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that I shared, please do not hesitate to ask me down in the comments. I will still continue to do a few more gift guides moving into December, but honestly, don't wait for the gift guides. If there's something that you're looking for or you need suggestions for something, go ahead and send me a direct message on Instagram. Um, it's Miss Gold Girl over on Instagram. Those pop up right on my phone. I see them right away. I always have my phone with me. Um, a few of you just sent me something right now. Um, so there you go. Um, I can easily send you links that way, answer any questions that you have. I've had people ask me what shoes go with a certain outfit, what, what purse I would recommend, things like that. I, I'm happy to help 
or just think of me as like your virtual girlfriend that is available through Instagram. So I just wanted to share that with you that the easiest way to get to me is Instagram. I have taken up enough of your time. I'm clearly babbling at this point. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you come back on Tuesday when I go through all my favorites from November. I love making those videos. It's just all about everything that went right that month. Again, hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye.